right, everybody, welcome back to our fourth and last lecture within our design lecture series, uh, spring semester 2024. Uh, all right, so uh, today we have a guest who is not only a very well-known architect, but also a friend of, of the Rome Center, and I'm particularly proud he's here with us. His name is Giovanni Lavarra, and he came directly from Milano this morning for you guys. Huh? All right, so uh, Giovanni will give a lecture entitled How Social a, being, a Building Can Be. Let me read a little bit about Giovanni, and after that, I will give the stage to Giovanni and he will start his lecture. So, Giovanni Lavarra began his professional career in 1994, and in 1999, together with Gianandrea Barreca and Stefano Boeri, he co founded Boeri Studio. Hmm? In January 28, along with Berreca, he established Berreca in Lavarra. This studio is uh, placed located in Milano. Um, they featured uh, in major industry magazines. They won uh, numerous in international awards. They are working a lot. They are building, constructing. They are doing master plans, architecture. So uh, they're, they're very lucky and very good ones. Um, Giovanni um, was part of the senior team for the planning office of the Expo Milano 2015. Since 2014, he has been an associate professor of architectural design at the University of Udine. Actually, he was a guest, uh, I think, last year, and he helped our students uh, going through their uh, projects. So uh, we know him very well also from this perspective. And since 2017, he has been teaching at the LUIS, uh, the university in Rome. He has published articles, essays, reviews in major Italian and international journals and magazines. So, once again, how social can a building be? And uh, I'll give the stage to Giovanni and enjoy his lecture. Please, Giovanni. Thanks, thanks Francesca, and thanks to the University uh, of Arkansas. Um, Thank you very much. My, my, my English is very simple. I, I try to explain some uh, uh, aspect of my work. My, my office is in Milano, and uh, the most part of my work is concentrated on, on, the, on the city of Milano, that you know is an important city in the north of the country. Um, <clears throat> the, the answer I propose. The answer I propose as a, as a title of the of, of this uh, lecture, in a certain sense, uh, can be adapted to every kind of building. But maybe uh, the social housing, the social housing is a building that, uh, uh, in particularly in the in the actual condition of Italy, must assume a character of a public. Uh, I mean public in the sense of possibility to build a relation between people and space, possibility to exchange ideas, possibility to have a space that can, can be a space of confrontation, of exchange. Um, we had a, a very important uh, season of uh, social housing in Italy in the 60s and the 70s of the last century. Uh, in the 80s, this season uh, uh, stopped and for, for a long time, we don't build social housing. We decide that the housing must be a problem of the individual family, an, an individual problem. But in the last year, we discovered that the need, the necessity of social housing is a very important way to regenerate the city, to uh, densify the city, and to uh, create cohesion, cohesion uh, between uh, space and society. So I will uh, will uh, uh, explain you four projects, five or four projects that we built uh, in the in the last year. The, the the first one is very is very old, 2000, uh, 
three two times on eight but uh, i think that uh, is is uh, is um, also today is uh, interesting to discuss and uh, is a good way to uh, represent what is uh, social housing in uh, in italy and uh, what is the difficult of the social housing in italy Sagno is a little city close to milano 30 kilometers from milano and uh, we had the commission the charge of built 39 uh, apartments, so a very, very little uh, intervention. The, the client was the municipality of Sereno because the social housing is uh, public in Italy. And, uh, and we decided to uh, uh, create an architecture that in a certain sense testify, testify um, give, give the impression of a, a sort of extranity in the context. This is a context very typical of the Italy of the 70s, of the 80s, a lot uh, sort of archipelago of individual houses, little palazzine. Palazzine is uh, a system to c connect eight, 10, 12 families in a building, so very low density. And uh, we, in a certain sense, create a polemic situation. Right? We, we want to um, affirm the individuality of the social housing. So. Pay attention, it's a project of 20 years ago. We were younger and we were polemic maybe more than now, but the, the result was a very uh, strange landscape, a, stra a, a sort of village, a sort of very dense combination of uh, different types of apartments, an idea of a community that uh, is uh, very close, very, very in, in, interrelate, and the landscape that suggests the city. So this is the plan that confirm you, I think, the extranity, the character, the character of a, the, the affirmation of, a, of the difference of the social housing, and the the the, the, the element that characterizes this building is the presence of for every apartment of a patio of of or of a balcony. So we had to every apartment a system that uh, can enrich the, the domestic life with a patio, uh, private patio. So uh, it cost in the in the low budget of the, the, the building. We decided to cut for another um, for other element and to concentrate the, the the part of the budget in the construction of this space that you see are in the middle of the building, are on the edge of the building, are balcony patios, and uh, cons permit uh, a sort of, uh, permit the possibility to have a room um, um, in view, um, a more, um, uh, a room, uh, uh, a further room, that uh, is, uh, in, a, in a certain sense, the possibility of the social life of the family, because there is the social life of the family, there is the social life of the of the building, there is a social life in the connection with the city. So we have a, a very different degrees of sociality, so sociability. And so we um, propose to these people, that be people that will be host in this building, to invent, invent their life in a, in a new way. It's not just the traditional bar balcony that is 1.20 centimeters, it's another way to uh, spend the time in the house to uh, see the sky, to, uh, to to participate of the of the social life. So uh, this is the the scheme of the uh, different patios that uh, escape this mess, this this sort of mess, and provide for every family a space like this. In in some cases, you can you have to enter in the patio, and then you have to enter in the house. So. Uh, the patio in, the, in that case is a sort of filter, a sort of mediation, mediation between uh, the total domestic sp space and the open space of the of the community. And uh, obviously, every family decided to use the patio in a different way. Uh, someone are, have uh, children, someone uh, has the hobby, someone they decide to recover bicycle, and uh, so it's exactly the life that can. Uh, use the architecture in the in the different way so this is the micro landscape of the complexity of the family and in the macro landscape of the building that is a, a sort of a, um, 
alien element in that landscape of uh, very ordinary um, in, uh, Italian suburb. These are another suggestion we we uh, we offer to the people that uh, will be host uh, in the, in this uh, in this building. You see that uh, the slope of the roof is not regular. So in some cases we have uh, four meters, four meters point five fifty in the interior of the house. So we suggest to create to create mezzanine to create a sort of abuse use of the of the building. Uh, some are lucky. Some. Uh, are, uh, have uh, is this strange hate that is absolutely um, uncommon in the social housing building. And so we suggest uh, to use it, this uh, as a, an extension, a vertical extension of the house. Some of the people decide to build, to auto uh, produce this uh, mezzanine and to, to leave it, to add a, a room. So uh, the landscape is an, an urban landscape that uh, Enter in this anonymous paisage, so in, the, in this uh, anonymous landscape, and you see the the plaster facade, the white facade on uh, on the north, and the, the other facade uh, still covered on the on the east and west are very different and suggest also another important element. We are different. We are we, we compose a city of difference. Um, the social housing. In Italy, is traditionally the uh, casermone, the big house with a lot of windows, all similar, all uh, all the same. But we decided to represent the richness, the potential richness, or the real richness of the difference of the family. Also, because in the historic season of the 60s, we built uh, social housing for a very clear family, uh, a couple with the two or three sons, very. Uh, standard family, but now the situation is very different. The situation is that the family today is um, a strange element of the society. We have a lot of different uh, typology and biodiversity of families, and so we have to answer with the architecture and to represent in the architecture this uh, difference, this uh, different answer that uh, people ask to the architecture. So these are the section, and you can see the slope and the possibility to create this uh, abusive plan on the on the under the roof. This is the parking under the um, the soil, and these are the plants that uh, uh, tell us something about the a very strong density, a very closeness between the, the the apartments, and the possibility for everyone to have a little space uh, outside. In the case of the ground floor apartments, uh, everyone has a singular individual uh, access, and so this is another way to to tell something about the individuality of the of the people. So this is a, 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 an old project for uh, for a lot of year. We don't uh, we have not been involved in the social housing, and uh, apparently this was a sort of unique piece of our. Uh, our um, portfolio, uh, but in the last year we have uh, we had uh, another uh, a lot of occasion to to build social housing, and so uh, this is one of one experiment that we we did um, uh, two years ago, just uh, in the middle of the COVID experience, and is really is not our project. is is an existing building in the periphery of Milano. This is the building, very anonymous, is the uh, west periphery of Milano, and uh, actually is a, a building of social housing built in the 80s. Um, every 20 years, every, every time that uh, uh, a family uh, go out from an apartment and a new family enter in the apartment, the municipality of Milano have to renovate the building, to paint, to change the plants, to, to make some maintenance every 15, 20 years less or more. So we intercept this moment and do we offer to the municipality of Milano an experiment. The experiment is uh, the glass of house. So we, we propose to substitute the existing walls in the interior of this apartment. We work just on one apartment, just an experiment. And uh, we, we propose to substitute it with the 
with a, a non-traditional wall. We use a glass wall, exactly the glass wall that we use in the offices, in the landscape of the offices. So <laughs> we create a new landscape. We don't touch uh, nothing of the layout of the building, of the apartment. We have a big uh, dinner zone, two rooms, two bathrooms. We don't uh, touch nothing, but we just uh, suggest to substitute the interior wall. And you know, the glass wall have a very important performance in terms of acoustic, in terms of uh, um, maintenance of the thermical differentiation. So uh, the quality of this wall is very high. But, uh, we, and we ask to some, uh, uh, not client, but uh, constructor of element, uh, um, building element, to, to give us, to in a very generous way, to give us the material to make this experiment, so to, to maintain the cost very, very low. And uh, we offer it to the, to the municipality to renovate this kind of house and to propose a new landscape. Uh, we were exactly in the period of the COVID, in the period where every one of us, in Italy mainly, uh, the side was obliged to stay in a house and so we we were for two months, maybe three months, in a very um, constriction in a certain sense, with the sons in the house, with the family in this house, everyone searching for a, a space to, to, to do an online call, uh, to study, to, to make some uh, relation, virtual relation with the exterior of the house. And so we, we learn to um, understand our house. And so, <clears throat> We decided that, uh, uh, in a certain sense, we discovered that the, the office landscape, the domestic landscape, can can be uh, hybridated, hybridated, can be mixed. And so, uh, we propose uh, to substitute the wall and to create the, this new landscape. And uh, actually, the, the the house is uh, occupied by a family that decide to to leave this experiment. Obviously, every glass wall has a tent in the in both sides, so you can uh, cover on the, the the side of the dinner or cover by the side of the of the room if you want privacy. If you wa don't want to see your parents uh, during the a game of uh, I don't know uh, PlayStation game, and um, and we we propose this sort of uh, double landscape. You can stay in that house. You can stay in that house. And pay attention that uh, uh, you can also decide how to use the sun. In particular, this apartment has three, is uh, very rich in terms of uh, orientation, has three facades, east, west, and south, so that the sun is every day present. But you can select the entrance of the sun. You can decide to select the sun and to have uh, light just from west during the morning or vice versa. And so, you can be the director of the lighting of the of the house in this in this condition, and uh, uh, obviously is is an experiment. We we found that in Italy, in the architecture field, and particularly in the social housing field, is very uh, the, there is the absence of the experiment. We don't know if this works, but we want to 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 propose it and to to understand because an experiment. Uh, is not uh, oriented to the success, but every time is oriented to produce knowledge. Because uh, uh, the experiments, uh, uh, we use the experiment for this, not to have a success. Maybe this, uh, this be a failure, but we have produced knowledge. And in terms of research, in terms of architects, we have to produce knowledge about the space, about the people, about the, the use of the space. And so, uh, I, I'm teaching too, and so I I, uh, I I I ask you to to think to the project as a moment of production of knowledge, and not just of production of a project of a space of an architecture. We extend also to the bathroom this <laughs> pervasive this <laughs> obsession of the transparency, and but obviously you can uh, you can separate. And uh, so we are very curious of the reaction of this family. They they present this apartment 
in the selection of the family to different families. So one family decides, okay, it's okay for us. We want to, to try, we want to, to participate to this experiment. So uh, maybe in the next two years, I can tell you something about these, uh, these, uh, these reactions. Okay, the, 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 the third project I want to present is very particularly because uh, uh, it's a big intervention of social housing, more or less 550 apartments, but starting from an existing building. And um, we are in the south of Milano, very close to the landscape of the agriculture. Milano is a very rich city in terms of agriculture, not just in terms of industry and uh, uh, services. And uh, we are just on the edge of the city. We are the last building of the city in a certain sense. But the building there exists because in the 90s, 33 years ago, uh, a promoter, a private promoter built five blocks that you see in the, in the photo, five blocks of offices, every one of uh, four or five uh, floors, to uh, destinate to offices. But they never use it, it because uh, we found the building never used in this condition, occupied by different people, uh, um, in, a, in a very dramatic condition of uh, uh, maintenance. And uh, it, it, it was incredible because the, the 90s was the, 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 the period where uh, office buildings were very diffused, very, very, very often, often built and uh, occupied. But this was a failure, a failure of the 90s, that we, we see in this condition for 30 years. Our client, a private client that decided to build social housing, decided to build this ruin. It's a ruin without past, if you, if you want, a ruin without a story. The ruins obviously are, have a story, but this is a, a sort of immediately in, in a extemporary ruin. And the ruin without now, not, not so fascinating as the ruin we usually see. And, uh, okay, our client decided to, to, to build the, the ruins and uh, to offer us these uh, skeletons and to imagine a new use. Obviously, we don't need so many office space now. We need a lot of space for social housing. And so, the challenge was how a building built and uh, born to, to, uh, to host office can be transformed in, a, in a social housing. It's a very important uh, question because uh, the building was not um, oriented to host social housing. So we decided to do um, just one, uh, uh, just two, two actions uh, mainly. The, the first one is uh, accept the stairs you see the stairs are on the edge of the building that is very strange for a social house building usually the stairs are in the center of the building we accept this eccentricity of the stairs and we work a lot on the layout to provide the number and the and the dimension of the social housing because when you build social housing in italy you have to accept a, a, a very different dimension as a small, large, medium, and, and etc. So not more than 55 square meters, not more than 65 square meters, and so on. It's very radical, very hard to accept this, uh, this element of constraint. And so the, the first was, one was uh, work a lot on the layout, and the second one create a new facade, a new facade that in a certain sense try to evocate to to recall the, the, the landscape of Sereno in the first project, an open facade that uh, covered the building and that uh, reused this balcony that you see, the balcony of the tree floor, but uh, uh, reused the balcony in a sort of domestic way. The balcony is used by the uh, housing apartments in a very different way. So this is the, the, the past and the future, the present, uh, every photo is on the, the same point of view. And uh, you can imagine uh, this is just uh, white plaster. We, we spent, uh, uh, the, the budget was, was very low. Uh, we spent uh, less than 1,000 euro per square meter. So 
is very economic transformation. We have a building to, to, for, for, to start, but in any case, we readapt the building in this way. So it's very simple, but it's necessary to be simple in some case. We, we have to accept the simplicity of, of the project when the project must be simple. And uh, we, has, we have to mix the simplicity and the superfluous because every project has a superfluous objects. Uh, think about the patios in Sereno social housing. Think about the glass wall in the apartment we renovate. And also in this case, we had this huge balcony and some other few elements to provide the superfluous because we, we design the superfluous part of the building. And the superfluous part is not uh, unuseful. It's, it's something that regards the character and the identity of the building. Also, when uh, we, we decide uh, our, uh, um, our aspect, we decide that we have to um, have something of superfluous. But in the superfluous, we can find the identity, the, the richness of every one of us and the, of the building too. <clears throat> so, uh, 450 apartments, it's a huge number of apartments. Uh, 300 are dedicated to the rent and to uh, 150 are dedicated to the cell. cell. Um, and uh, in the ground floor, except the red area that are residential, we have a mix of a uh, uh, few services because uh, in, in Italy, when you work on the social housing on this kind of a peripheral area, the social housing is an occasion to offer to the city, to the, to the neighborhood, services. For instance, sanitary services, the green one, um, um, some commercial activity, the yellow one, and some other uh, activity that can enrich the neighborhood. So how a building can be social, also in this way it can be social. The building, the new building can offer uh, uh, services that are not just dedicated to the, to the community. We have no gates, we have no separation. The open space is really an open space between the building. And so everyone that lives uh, close to the, this new building can uh, arrive here and uh, uh, enter in the, this new service. So this is very important. The, the social housing is an occasion to enrich the city, not just to enrich uh, the, uh, the architecture. <coughs> uh, this is the, the sequence of the different apartments. Every color is an, a, a different apartment, but particularly I want to I want underline, I don't know if is uh, is enough visible, the white corridor that connects the stairs Because, uh, because from the stairs you have to distribute the apartments. So uh, we, we decide, we, uh, we were obliged to have this long corridor just because the stairs were placed in this eccentric, in this not central position. And so this is a sort of diseconomy in a certain sense, but the building were, was, uh, was uh, built. And so we accept and we work a lot about the layout to, uh, to create the connection, uh, to create the coexistence between these different apartments requested by the mark. Okay, this is <laughs> bigger. So you can see this is a strange solution, but uh, it was obliged. It's a certain sense the corridor of an hotel, you see, but uh, it's not so domestic, but the domestic is uh, the space we present outside with this uh, balcony with this uh, sort of uh, light monumentality of the building that uh, uh, affirm the new era, the new condition of these uh, ruins. Uh, we have also apartments in the ground floor with a little garden and uh, very different typologies, also because the layout was complicated. And, uh, and in some cases, you can see the, uh, the garden is quite bigger, is a way to to uh, make a, a sort of a belt around the building with green space, not in the building that hosts the services, but just in the building uh, that hosts the housing at the ground floor. 
And in the case of the balcony, you can see the dimension of the balcony, that is two meters and fifty, so quite big to, to use these, to use it to, to make a dinner, to make a table, to study, to to to, to have a sun. And in some cases the, the, the balcony follow the building. It's a huge occasion of uh, have another room uh, or, or to 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 enjoy the landscape and so on. So the landscape of Milan is not rich as the one of Rome, but in any case, is is uh, in any case a landscape. So the 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 choice was to be very simple, very uh, serious in a certain sense. Milano is uh, famous to be serious, to be. Um, uh, rigorous and uh, and so it's in a certain sense a Milanese architecture that uh, uh, see the landscape of the agriculture that uh, remind us the, the agricultural architecture of the of the plan of the Pianura plan and uh, just in one case on the south facade we had some tent just to defend from the sun but but uh, uh, in in a certain sense to provide the, this character of superfluous that I suggest you. To. So this is not necessary, but uh, in a certain sense is part of the identity of the building. Every tent say has something about the the style, the lifestyle of the interior, the people that, li that live in the interior, the use of the sun, the use of the balcony, and so on. <clears throat> Obviously, these are uh, photos of the construction site just finished, but we we are, we are waiting to, to do photos with the people, with the children in the courtyard and so on. This is one of the courtyard. We decided to, to use some different colors and uh, we maintain the big gate that to enter in the courtyard because two of the courtyard are public. Two of the courtyard are occupied on the ground floor by the services. So you can use the courtyard uh, and not just the, the, the outside space, space. And in the, the, the outside space, we, we enrich the space just with the benches, a uh, little uh, green space. So a very simple project. Uh, but uh, in a certain sense, the richness can be concentrated in some point. So you see the design of the... Um, the Parapet, parapet. The design of the parapet and the and the presence of the tent on the five south facade are the sign for the city. We are here, we are people that live here, we are the new destiny of this building, this failure, and uh, we are new citizen of the city. It's a sign that uh, the building is reused and uh, uh, restored in a certain sense. So this is the space of the balcony you see very open, very, very rich. And this is the landscape, the monotonous and very boring landscape of Milano agriculture, but okay, it's, it's this. I, I can add mountains or lakes or sea, uh, I'm sorry. This is the domestic garden on the roof that people decide to use in a, in a in, uh, as a community space, so uh, how we can uh, answer to the to the answer I propose as a title? Maybe the the, the building can suggest some use. Everyone uh, will be the the um, everyone will decide how to use the building. But we, as architect, can suggest as a as a, the director of a film that suggests to the actors how. Uh, he have to, to to make a gesture. How how we have to pronounce uh, uh, lines. So we we can uh, uh, say something, suggest something, and then we have to open that our architecture can be the right theater, the right background of the living activities. And so in, uh, in 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 this sense, it's very interesting also to follow the life of the building, to return to in the building. I suggest you, when we you will be architect, to uh, to adopt your building and to study it. Also, because uh, uh, as I suggest you, the failure is uh, is important as the success. We can uh, learn more by a little failure or something that we uh, 
uh, some, some errors than by the success, because the success, okay, is a success, but the error can, can be an element that can create knowledge and can uh, uh, give force to our activity. Okay, the, the last element is that uh, the promoter decided to rent the furniture, in this case, not just to, to rent the building, but uh, in 20 cases, the 20 situation, 20 families, decided to rent also the, the, um, the furniture, the beds, the table, and so on. So this is another sign, very interesting, uh, of uh, a demand of, the, of an answer of building, of an answer of living space, that is oriented to the precarity, to the temporary, to the uh, maybe to, to to use the city and the building for four or five years. I don't know how, how we where will be where I will be in five years. But uh, in any case, I need a domestic space. I need to create house just in this moment in this house. So uh, it's a a very um, strange situation for us. We were uh, we were born in a, in a world where the house is for all life, the the furniture is for all life, and uh, and maybe we have to imagine a world of uh, fluid connection, fluid uh, change, and so on. <clears throat> okay, this is the the fourth project, and regards another city, Genova. Genova is. Uh, a very important city on the Mediterranean Sea is the uh, most important harbor in Italy, and um, uh, we have been involved on the, on the yellow dot, so very far from the sea. But Genoa is a sort of landscape of the mountain that arrive on the sea. You see the harbor line on the on the coastline, and um, Genoa is a big city. is a four, the fourth or five, fifth city in in, in Italy. And we have been involved to build in uh, in the periphery, in the industrial zone, a, a new um, complex of social housing of uh, 150 apartments. This is the existing situation, the fabric of Boero uh, industry. Boero was an industry uh, of production of colors to, to paint and uh, dismissed the, the, the site in seven years ago. And um, the promoter destroyed the building. There, there are no interesting architecture to maintain. It proposed us to, to build uh, this new complex of uh, uh, social housing apartment. So it's a very interesting condition because we have in the middle of a very interesting landscape, the mountains, the sea that is far, but you, you see the presence, you feel the presence of the sea. And so... Uh, we open to the landscape, you, you, we use color, usually our buildings are white, gray, or black. And so in that case, decide to open to the colors, to accept the colors as an element of the architecture. And we combine in the master plan uh, two towers and two slabs to create a sort of micro space, a micro urban space. Also in this case, we have a lot of services on the ground floor, we have a, a library, we have a commercial uh, space and uh, a kindergarten. And so this is another occasion to, to offer to these uh, context services that they, have, they haven't, that they are not present in, the, in, the, in this moment. And so pay attention, if you, if you have a services, if, if you have activity, probably also the problem of the security, the safe, the feeling of the safe is different because uh, if a space is uh, uh, closed, is used, is used in the different uh, moment of the day, you have the possibility to to be sure, to be sure in the in the space, and so to to frequent it, to to pass through it, and uh, and this is an element that just the architecture and the relation can create more than uh, a lot of cameras, a lot of remote control that can't provide really. Uh, safety. So this is this is the master plan. This is the plan, and uh, we we create uh, the two slabs here and the two towers. In, it's a sort of micro city with different typologies, different uh, dimension of the building, 
uh, there is a green space in the middle that is a sort of square courtyard uh, garden and uh, at the in the ground floor of the building we have uh, the services this is the, the system of the services in the ground floor in the 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 green triangle in the in the node part of the picture is the garden of the kindergarten so uh, in a sort of a separated condition not in the center to to provide the intimacy to provide the uh, separation for the for the children and uh, just in the ground, ground floor we have just services and uh, in the in the elevation we create a sort of complex system of uh, uh, balcony and terraces uh, also in this case the superfluous is present you see the balcony are not of the same dimension we have three dimension of the balcony and uh, this is the character we propose to the building uh, Genoa is a very um, hot city is a sunny city the climate in Genoa is very different from Milano is more similar to Rome in a certain sense and uh, you can uh, stay on the open space for seven, eight months per year. So they are very oriented to use open space, gardens, balcony, terraces, and so on. So we, we spend a lot of uh, uh, thinking and a lot of money to, to, to uh, concentrate on the balcony, on the design of the balcony, the richness of the building, the superfluous in this case. And uh, also is another way to to tell something about to tell something about the richness of the interior, the richness, the difference of the family, the difference of the the lifestyle we can host. You see, in this plan, uh, the different size of the balcony, and obviously the the bigger one are oriented to a connection with the daily uh, life, and the the little one are connected to the uh, relation with the uh, rooms uh, to the to the night and and so on in some cases we have a, a continuous line that connect the balcony but uh, change the 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 thick the dimension so to 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 confirm this difference between uh, the different use of the interior so it's another very simple solution that uh, is uh, full of intention full of uh, uh, character and uh, became the character of the building in a certain sense. For the for the other part, we have to accept the dimension, the very radical and uh, regular dimension of the social housing, not more than 45 for the uh, double room and and so on. Uh, the presence of the of the stairs and of the lift as an element that uh, can be is a very technical element that can't be rich, can't be a sort of a, a huge stairs, but just the, the need, just the necessity of the presence of the stairs. And we uh, decided to offer all the character of the building to the exterior and to the, the system of facade that is also enriched by the three different ways to, to, to build the parapet. We have a very regular parapet with the stick, steel stick, we have another parapet with a sort of steel sheet with a hole. And the third one is a very simple parapet in, uh, in concrete, very close. So three different transparency, three different size. So a system of a combination that create a, a quite uh, uh, interesting, I think, uh, landscape. And you can see the different uh, density of this uh, transparency. This, the color are exactly the, the presence of the three different parapet. Just to, uh, is another way to, to offer uh, a relation with the, uh, the outer, outside space, in some case more uh, intimate, in some case more open. And uh, so uh, this is the, the steel sheet and the, this other is the, the, the sticks. Uh, so you see the landscape is not the Milanese one, it's very uh, rich, it's very uh, rich of sun and mountains and so on. These are the three elements of the parapet. Uh, obviously in this case the number of the balcony can permit us to change it, it can permit us in terms of industrial production to have, uh, to propose 
an element that cost uh, cost a lot not cost a lot but cost more than just one element if you build 30 apartments maybe you can't propose this kind of solution but uh, when you build a, a right number of apartments you can work on this detail and you can propose and concentrate here some parts of the budget okay this is the the outside landscape that we offer to the to the interior we work a lot of, of the solution of colors because uh, uh, in, in one case we, we don't want to, to use just white, gray, and black, and we decided at the end to use the, the different uh, different uh, uh, nuance of green to create this uh, uh, this complex. This is the part of the kindergarten, so you see this. Uh, the window of the kindergarten that obviously is in the ground floor and every building has a sort of a different ground floor someone with a shop someone with a kindergarten another one with a public library and so on everyone is a way to host to be generous to host public activity and to offer it to the to the neighborhood Eunora? Okay. Okay, no. Okay. My bad. Okay, and uh, the last case is uh, uh, a work in progress. We have been involved uh, uh, with another interesting, I think, story because uh, this is uh, a, a neighborhood of the 50, 50s, a social housing of the 50 in uh, Udine. Udine is in the northeast uh, of Italy, is a city where I teach. And uh, and uh, the quarter, the, the neighborhood is uh, composed by 10, 12 buildings um, and uh, of uh, 160 families. So the, com the municipality of Udine decided to um, renovate it and decide a very radical solution. We have to destroy the, the 12 building and to substitute it with a new building. So we decided, they decided this, uh, this strategy because uh, it was very expensive, uh, very difficult to renovate the building, uh, maintaining the people in. And uh, the building of the 50s, 50s are not, uh, um, uh, they haven't uh, lifts, they haven't a uh, strange solution that uh, are very uh, expensive today in terms of uh, thermic uh, regulation. And so, uh, it was a very uh, courageous solution. Uh, usually in Italy we don't destroy nothing and uh, we built and we built and we built. But in this case we have been involved in a, a very different story of social housing. So this is the system of the, the building, the 12, 13, I don't remember, building. Uh, everyone hosts uh, 8, uh, 10, uh, 12 families. Uh, and. Uh, uh, we propose a master plan to um, uh, to to ask uh, finance a budget to the central government. We we win in a certain sense, 15 million of euro, and uh, these are the building we destroyed. The, the one of the 50, 50, the blue one, and another little uh, settlements of the 70s had uh, in the 70s the red one. The interesting things was that we discover that in the 50s, the, this kind of plan, in the 50s, every, every room for the night was a 16, 16 uh, square meters. So in a, for the Italian standard, it's huge. And uh, in Milano, we, we built uh, eight square meters room, 12 square meters room. 16 is a, a, a luxury standard for us, but this building built in the 50s after the end of the Second World War are not dedicated to a family. They were dedicated to a lot of family, to a, a sort of housing ante literam. In every room of 16 square meters, we had a family. And maybe they coexist, they create a sort of a coexistence with the other family using, using the same kitchen, using the same bathroom. And so obviously, every day to have in the public realm a room of 16 square meters is uh, 
is a luxury. It's, a, it's a very difficult to maintain, to affirm that this is the standard we can uh, offer today to the family. And so the, the decision to destroy all and to renovate, to substitute, is, uh, I repeat, cour courageous, courageous, eh? but uh, uh, also difficult. So the new master plan decided to, to refuse the idea of this grid of different building and to create the, the, the gray one are the building and in that, in that picture, the, the yellow one are the, the demolished and the red one are the new built uh, to, to create a sort of line along the street and to open uh, uh, along the, the core of the quarter, the core of the, the neighborhood where we have a school, a, a, a church, a supermarket, and a community. And uh, so to, have a, to, to give to the, to the quarter an orientation, to build the street and to refuse to create a sort of dam, digger, dam along the street to open this micro green space, this micro archipelago of green space in the, in the, in the, in the neighborhood. So very different green space means very different people. One for the children, one for, uh, I don't know, the dogs, one for the uh, teenager. So it's a, a way to host a society that is very complex, very uh, di differentiated. So the new buildings are the white one and they create a sort of a system that open on uh, the west side and close on the east side. <coughs> Also, in that case, it's very simple, the building we propose. This is a picture along the street. But uh, this, uh, this study, the first study, that is uh, 2021, was uh, presented to ask the, the, the budget. And, uh, and finally, we, we obtained a 15 million of euros, and we decided just to, uh, to try to, to start with a plot, one plot, because 15 million is not enough to, to build all the new the new uh, neighborhood so we decided to to start for, from the b plot this one and uh, also in this axonometry we you see that every plot has a characteristic in terms of ground floor every one is dedicated to, to services uh, system of uh, uh, domestic space with a uh, workspace uh, um, uh, apartments for a community of elderly people and sanitary services. So it's another occasion to give to the neighborhood, to, to, to the large neighborhood, services that they haven't and they need. Um, so in 2023, we, um, we designed the executive project for the Lotto B, the plot B, that is this uh, open courtyard. And uh, <coughs> We, we have to reduce the, 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 the space, the built space. In the 2001, 2021 proposal, we have a, a building, a, a more horizontal building with three floors, more uh, system of vertical communication. But uh, for a correct use of the budget, we have to concentrate. In, a, in, a, in both cases, we have the same number of apartments, but we have to uh, change the building to host in a in a more uh, compact way the same space the same volume. So in a certain sense, we have uh, uh, reduced the, the the power of this courtyard. But uh, obviously, the the problem of the budget are uh, very important. So this is the facade that is uh, very different from the other one, the facade on the street, because in this facade we have lodges. And the other one, we have balcony. So the lodges uh, affirm a, a different intimacy of the interior, affirm a, a sort of a facade uh, excavated and not uh, oriented to the exterior space. So a sort of defense, defense, uh, a way to, to create a differentiation between the street, the, the traffic, the pollution, and so on. And uh, this is the plan. Uh, we have the, we haven't enough money to to build a subterranean parking, so we had to place the parking here. And uh, obviously, the other buildings are not uh, uh, been uh, they're not been demolished. 
we, we have a, in, in a situation of a mix. Part of the neighborhood is new, part of the neighborhood is the old one, and probably in the next year, in the future, we will find the money to substitute the rest of the building. But we start, and in this first plot, we, we renovate 73 apartments, uh, and the total number is 160. This is the ground floor, and this is the section of this C-shape uh, of building. So uh, we, we had the possibility to to cover the, the cars, but the cost of the subterranean parking was uh, uh, impossible to, to to sustain. So we have uh, uh, we we avoided to this uh, to this possibility. So in the ground floor, the red one are the living space, and the blue and red one, uh, sorry, the blue and the green one are the the space of the services. Particularly, the very important services is a sanitary point where the people, the the the, the inhabitants of the this neighborhood are very old. Uh, the generation that enter in the in the in the neighborhood young in the 50s, in the 60s, and now is. Uh, they, they they are the same in a certain sense, but they are old without sun, and so it's a very fragile, uh, critical condition. So the sanitary point that is the the blue one is very important, very uh, hands-word, and uh, the green, uh, the light green is the 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 system of the green space at the at the ground floor, and particularly this is a. Contain to the ground floor a, f a bigger co-housing for whole people. We combine four micro apartments with a room and a bathroom, in a, with a, a one just one day space where they cook, where they stay, where they play, and they can use the, the green space uh, outside. And so it's a way to spend uh, a part of your life not not in the solitude solitude eh? solitude, but uh, in a way that permit exchange, that permit relation, that can uh, maintain you in the in the system of the social relation that is very important, you know, in the in that uh, in that age. Also, in that case, we have to maintain a very strong uh, combination between uh, uh, the the dimension of the of the apartments, the dimension, the number of the room. Uh, obviously, the most 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 part of the apartments are by local, so it means one room of, to sleep and one uh, dining room, uh, because uh, a lot of people live alone in this condition, and uh, also young people are alone, and so uh, it's very different demand. The answer of social housing between uh, the generation of my father, when in the 60s. Just the family, the standard family, was at the center of the policy. This is the ground floor, and this is the system of the the different uh, apartments, where you can uh, can uh, see that every apartment has a loggia or a balcony, and uh, now we uh, built uh, stairs with the, with the lifts. That is very important when you are old. And so the, the, the standard of the, the living space is very different from the starting point. And this is the, some, some uh, picture of the courtyard. This is the, the, the green space, the, the parapet of the green space of the uh, old people community, the, the, co the co housing for the old people that protect from the vision the people that move in the garden, maybe some one of them can go out, but some of them prefer to stay in the garden in a, a private condition, in a um, not visible condition, in a protected condition. So we, we provide the both condition for them. And this is the, the path, the pedestrian path that connect from the east to the west, crossing the, the, the plot. Also, in that case, we decide to be very simple in terms of architecture. Uh, the budget don't uh, permit us to to, uh, to have a different solution. But maybe you can say the the different uh, ways of the of the design of the main facade on the street, the one uh, uh, 
uh, on the top and the regular facade on the on the courtyard that are not so monumental not so hard as the one on the street so we decided to 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 talk two different long languages on the two sides of the building el ultimo okay this is uh, this is the, the last slide and uh, we started the demolition uh, a few months ago and so i think that in uh, 18 months 20 months we will be we will uh, build this uh, this solution and to offer to the to the inhabitants a new landscape a new condition to live thank you very much all right giovanni thanks thanks a lot it was very interesting so you guys had like a very interesting overview this semester about a number of topics that are about our country today we spoke about social housing for us social housing is housing for poor people very 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 poor people people who cannot afford an apartment in the private market and what strike my attention uh, uh, of the projects we saw today is that they were looking like buildings for owned apartments uh, of any modern town. And this makes me very happy because in the past, social housing was treated as a sort of a different language, different type, just because it was supposed to be built with few money very little money, while those projects, they demonstrate, first of all, that we can uh, produce lovely, lovely contemporary architecture with a little bit amount of money uh, and offer very um, high quality living conditions. So this is a very good lesson for me and I learned some things new. I actually did my own PhD in uh, social housing transformation and I've, I've traveled all around Milano, Rome and the other Italian towns looking for the social housing neighborhood built up in the 60s and the 70s and people are in troubles there. You guys are in Rome. Rome has a lot of examples. Have you ever been to the Corviale? Uh, you should go. Before you go back to the US, go to one of the symbols of our town. It's the one kilometer building long. And it is a kind of a horizontal town built up in the 70s, all dominated by social housing, but don't go at night, it can be very dangerous. There's many other neighborhoods. So um, what Giovanni is uh, talking about today is very important. Hmm? So now, long story short, I just wanna know if there is any question, if you're curious about some things, because probably social housing is a little bit different in the US. Probably you treat it in a different way. I don't know. So if you have questions, it is the right moment. Oh, yes. I give you the microphone, as always. With social housing and low budget projects, what are the first things that are erased from a project design? And what are your recommendations for low budget design? So you mean, what is the, the first principle that you gotta go for when you have very little amount of money? So. Uh, the, the budget is every day a constant of a project. Also when you built for the Sheikh in, 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 in the Arabia Saudita or when you built social housing in, in Milano. So uh, the, the, the project is, a, is a, is a point where a lot of line converge and the line of uh, the constraint, uh, the, the law, the line of the budget, the line of the inspiration of the uh, expectation you have. And so the, the, in, the, in, the, in that point where all the line arrive, this is the point of the architect. You are here. You are just in the, in the center of this system of the, the concentration of forces. And you have to, to, to uh, learn to accept all the constraints, not to be hard, but uh, uh, to, to, to think that everyone has its reasons. 
everyone has its reason and you too and you have to combine this in a, in a project that uh, every every time it tells something about uh, not you probably but the, the city the situation the people that you think will be hosted and and so on so when francesca remind us the one kilometer of corviale she remind us also the idea that uh, in the 60s the social housing must be monumental but i think that social housing can be uh, monumental in a different way no in a, in a way that offer to the city services space richness and not hugeness no? no not hugeness obviously we are in a very different condition historical condition but uh, the pressure the pressure of the people in the city is is uh, in a certain sense the same the same of the 60s and so we have to in invent to imagine a, a very different monumentality for the social housing that is not uh, the hugeness, the, the hardness of Corviale, but is the capacity to, to build uh, little relation, relation in different scale. So I think that there is a, an, an American architect very interesting, that is Michael Malson, that is a, a very interesting architect of social condition, not just housing, but every social housing project uh, he designed is rich of a connection, is a, is very generous for the city, no? So Corviale is not generous with the city, is uh, hard with the city. So we have, uh, as, as in the life, we have to be generous and, uh, and, the, and, the, and the city uh, create a relation. Oh, yes, absolutely. Thanks. And I th think when it comes to social housing, there is also another important element. You have social responsibility. It's not about designing a retail space, you have fun and like that. It's something that will stay in a neighborhood for years and years. You're giving answers to families in troubles, people in troubles. So the choices that you make, they also have the load of the responsibility. Hmm? All right, any other question? No? Yeah, I know that you're tired, guys. Makes absolutely sense. Um, all right. Yes, I just wanted to say some things uh, about what impressed me. Uh, the play of lodges and balconies as a way to give character to the buildings. I particularly appreciate it. Um, yeah, because it's they are perceived. Not the same. From, it's not no, the same. Yes, and it, it was very <clears throat> sorry. Interesting the slide of all the balconies and the colors and stuff like that. Very nice. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm coughing, so I better close this now, otherwise I will die here. <laughs> so, uh, Giovanni, thanks a lot. Uh, it, it was really a pleasure. Everybody, this was the last. Um, don't forget that all the lectures are on our YouTube channels and you, you will be able to see all the other lectures in the following semester, even if you will be back to the US. So if you're still curious about Italian architecture, just search our links and you will be able to follow us. So have a good semester. See you. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>